Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again. Right, another collection update for you here. Once again, relatively uh, bare at the moment. Uh, I've, I'm on another one of those like um, months where it's like I like, kind of uh, made a few too many impulse buys and was like better better cam it a wee bit. You know what I mean? Um, especially because probably not too long ago we're nearly at the end of summer now. Okay, we're gonna get right into like the holiday season of like non-stop games pretty soon you know last year's was kind of lackluster to me you know there wasn't much i picked up then but this year it's like there's a lot that i'll be uh, picking up a lot of a uh, a lot of expensive collector's editions as well it's not gonna be fun but anyway here we go we got these games right here <coughs> oh excuse me okay now first of all actually i gotta say I was going to make a video on this, but I have been playing the shit out of my Sega Saturn recently. Like, I don't know what it is, I just like, felt like playing it one night, and I've played through so many games that I haven't got, hadn't got around to playing yet, you know? And as a result, I decided to pick up a few more, <coughs> a few more as well. Uh, the first one I got here is this, Virtual On. Now, um, well, Virtual On Cyber Troops, apparently. Um, this was one I'd heard about for like years, you know, um, and I didn't actually know what the game was, and I just saw it on eBay, and I'm like, ah, you know what, let's uh, let's try that out. I literally did not know what it was until I popped it in, where I found out that it's actually like a fighting game uh, with um, sort of mechs, mechs and stuff, you know. And I was somewhat disappointed, because I, I don't know, I think I was sort of expecting a Zone of the Enders game, you know, something like single player, but no, it's a, it's a fighting game at its core, you know, apparently you can buy like a sort of twin stick peripheral, and that's the real way to play it, that's how you played it in the arcades, but I don't have that, so I just got this here. Don't regret getting that or anything, because like I said, apparently it is a Saturn classic, so yeah, cool, 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 cool. And another Saturn game I got, uh, this is the only other one, was um, Saturn Bomberman, wonderfully named. I hear a lot about this one as well. Um, one to ten players and shit. Uh, apparently this was a very uh, popular game, uh, multiplayer game, I guess I should say, back in the day for the uh, Sega Saturn. Was it, um, was this the one that actually utilized the online? Um, can't remember, there was a game that did that. I don't know if it was this one, but yeah, I got this anyway. I'm gonna have to pick up that because I know that there exists like a Saturn multi-tap in the shape of Bomberman's face, you know. I know that that's a thing, so it would probably be quite nice to sort of track that down and uh, own that, you know. I've yet to actually put this one in, but heck, it's Bomberman, you know. I like Bomberman, so I'm sure I'll like that. And uh, speaking of Bomberman, I promised there wasn't like a Bomberman phase that sort of went in my mind. Um, I just happened to see this and I thought, well, I'll pick this up too. Uh, for reasons other than just owning it, actually. Um, Bomberman, what's the subtitle? Bomberman Online. Okay, maybe this is the one that I got, I got mixed up with that and this, because obviously this has online for the Dreamcast. Now, I saw this and it was quite cheap and I thought it would be cool to have, but even more than that, actually, as you can see, this is an American copy, okay? And I kind of thought to myself, you know what? I gotta try and make that Dreamcast region free, because there's so many Dreamcast games, actually, that I have never played because they weren't released there here, you know? And I hate that. I hate that so much. I want to try and fix that. I haven't looked into how to make a Dreamcast region free yet, if anybody has any tips on that, by the way, please let me know. I'm very interested to hear it. Because I made my I made my Saturn region free. You just need one of those, like, action replay cartridges. You plug it in and it's, boom, you're played region free. Uh, your Saturn is region free. But I don't know how to do it for the Dreamcast yet. So I bought this as sort of a means of testing that. But, you know, Bomberman online. Again, I like Bomberman. I should pick up, I should try and look for those uh, Bomberman games on the N64, actually. Um, other than Bomberman Hero. Bomberman Hero was amazing, I loved that game, but apparently like, there's other ones um, that I should uh, probably have a wee look into. Okay, uh, next up we have uh, Carmageddon for the PS1. Now, uh, funny story, right? Uh, this game recently got like uh, re-released on PS4 and Xbox One, you know, a full remake. And uh, it was my boss, actually, that was talking about it. He was like, oh, Carmageddon, and... He didn't even know that it was, like, re-released. He just started talking about it because it was a game he used to play. And I was like, oh, I used to play that too. 
And uh, he ends up looking it up, seeing that there's a re-release, re he's like, oh, I'm gonna download that. And I'm like, huh, re-release. For some reason in my mind it was like, I should try and track down the PS1 version quickly before it goes up in price. I don't know why I thought that. I have like this knee-jerk reaction when it comes to when someone talks about an old game that I don't have, my first instinct is to go on eBay and see how cheap it is. And this was really cheap, so instantly I was like, oh, it's cheap, bye. And I, and I bought it, so, yeah. But I used to play this when I was younger. Got memories of uh, mowing down lots of the uh, the zombies and stuff. Um, but I'm not overly familiar with it, so... Just out of curiosity, does this get compared to, like, Twisted Metal a lot? I know next to nothing about Twisted Metal uh, as well. That's a that's a series of games I should get around to, but I imagine it's sort of the same thing. You know, not a car game, but not really a race, racing game. So it's all about the the violence and the destruction and shit. So was this a ripoff of Twisted Metal? I don't know. But anyway, Carmageddon. Cool, cool. Um, next we have. Um, Sega Classics Arcade Collection. This is my sixth Sega CD game. I'm getting there. Uh, you no, know, it's funny. I, I kind of bought this in like a, from a shop, and then I sort of walked out of the shop and immediately thought, why did I buy that? Because the games that are included on this are Golden Axe, Columns, Streets of Rage, Revenge of Shinobi, and Super Monaco GP. I already own four of those for the fucking Mega Drive. I don't own Super Monaco GP. But I don't think I'm going to be that fussed about playing it. So yeah, I was like, why did I fucking buy this? I'm hoping that they're actually arcade perfect ports. That would make it all the worthwhile, you know, even though I don't think that the ports of the original games were that different from that on the Mega Drive. I don't know, don't quote me on that, but eh, I've got it now, I suppose. So yeah, more Sega CD games. Can't go wrong with that, I suppose. Uh, next we have now, this is one that, um, actually, I hold near and dear to my heart, and I'm surprised that I have not went that long without, um, buying this. Uh, that is, a Dark Cloud for the PS2. This was, like, technically this was the first PS2 game I ever played. Um, a friend of mine had it when the PS2 first came out. This was, like, fucking years ago. And, uh, yeah, I just remember playing it and just loving it, you know, mainly because it was, like, the first PS2 game I saw, I suppose. I distinctly remember playing it, and to move the main character around, you had to use the left analog stick, and my brain hadn't evolved from that yet. I was still too used to PS1 and trying to use the D-pad constantly and move, but you weren't allowed to use the D-pad. You had to adapt to the analog stick. The analog stick was the future! And, yeah, so that's a, that's a fun memory I have of this. And um, a lot of you may know the sequel to this, Dark Chronicle, or Dark Cloud 2 if you uh, live in America, is one of my favourite games ever. Dark Chronicle is so good, I love it to death. It's, um, this is, it's, so this is actually, it's nowhere near as good as Dark Chronicle, this one, but I still like it a lot, you know, and I still give it props for spawning that series, and, you know, it's a, it's kind of like a, Level 5, they obviously went on to make a lot of really good RPGs, like Nino Kune, and even some that I've never really played yet, like um, uh, Rogue Galaxy. And some that I'd rather I'd never played, like White Knight Chronicles. We don't talk about White Knight Chronicles. Um, but yeah, Dark Cloud, great stuff. Love this game, really do. And uh, the last game I got here, still wrapped in cellophane, so obviously I've no played it, is a... Uh, Pokin Tournament. No, I kind of one of my last collection updates. I sort of said that the fighting game phase had died down for me. Um, so you're probably wondering, why the fuck did you buy this then, Duck? Well, I actually bought it because I'm very conscious of the fact that the Wii U is on its way out and there's pretty much no going to be any other new big releases for it. At least I really can't see it, you know. Breath of the Wild is going to come out next year and that's pretty much it. Unless you're fussed about that Paper Mario game. So I kind of thought to myself, you know what? I want to at least own all of the relevant games. Or games that I thought I deem as relevant for the Wii U. Because that's not too hard. Because there is really not that much software for the console, you know? And I have pretty much all the relevant games. Or at least everything I want to own for the console anyway. Again, very easy task. Not a lot on there. So I just thought, you know what? I might as well pick up Pokin just to have it. And that was it. That was why I bought it. Don't know if I'll get around to even playing it, but I got it, so yay. 
And that's that, guys. Another collection update in the bag. Um, yeah. See you after. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.